Well, uh, we would like to offer projects uh, that has no equivalents uh, in the world. So we would like to become uh, leaders in this uh, domain, and uh, there are a lot of things uh, to prove it. Uh, and uh, I would like to say that actually there are four uh, ways uh, 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 ballistics, uh, dynamic, uh, and aerodynamics, uh, and aerostatics uh, flying modes. And I would like to say that aerostatic is the most economical one. Uh, we uh, would like like uh, uh, to have uh, very good uh, uh, lifting capacity, and we don't have to pay that. So Archimedes' uh, law uh, is uh, like an anti-gravitator, and this is a very precious uh, uh, trait, a uh, thing that uh, for some reason has not been that much used by human beings. And actually, yes, uh, for the air navigation first, uh, for that we used uh, actually aerostats and, and um, airships, and only after that airplanes, the use itself uh, uh, of uh, Archimedes law uh, actually uh, uh, well, uh, uh, makes us think uh, about very good uh, features of properties so in terms of economy, uh, in terms of athletics, uh, in terms of aeronautics, etc. And uh, as for energy consumption, it's uh, way lower than, for example, uh, airplanes or helicopters. Uh, and uh, apart from that, uh, it has a very good uh, surface, I mean, the big one. Probably it's not that good in terms of uh, uh, some uh, flying uh, uh, capacity. I mean, but at the same time, I should say that with time, we're going to have very good solar batteries uh, for 3, 5 uh, uh, micron uh, with a good uh, efficiency coefficient. Uh, and we're, we're there we're going to use the solar panels. I don't think that, uh, uh, well, uh, we can use uh, uh, sun. Uh, just uh, to have a cruise speed of 150 or 200 kilometers, but 100, yes, sure. But add hydrogen on top of that uh, in gas form uh, or in a liquefied form, uh, well, uh, you uh, can talk about very good uh, uh, performance uh, and uh, there is enough space uh, for that uh, the airships. Uh, by doing that, so we could switch to purely clean energy sources, I mean, sun and uh, uh, hydrogen. This is one side of the matter. Then the thing is... Uh, uh, safety, use of aerostatic uh, lifting power, uh, well, actually, and uh, it's uh, actually uh, higher than the center of mass, and so uh, this apparatus becomes really uh, uh, stable in terms of aerostatics uh, uh, at a particular speed, uh, and we have uh, a very good effect. Uh, we cannot uh, just uh, collapse uh, when we had uh, like a breakdown of all the agents, uh, so there are no risks so particular risks involved for airships. Uh, uh, some uh, people are a little bit afraid uh, to fly. For example, you have aerophobia. But as for airships, you can do this, uh, but at the same time in a very comfortable atmosphere. So, uh, well, uh, well, we will be talking about that. For example, if we talk about uh, double deck uh, airships, where the uh, second deck will be for single and double cabins, uh, with the movie theater, with the dance floor, etc. So it's not just a flight, it's a real adventure. It's uh, quite uh, a low height, but at the same time, you can walk on observation deck. Yes, we we'll stay closer to the land. It's not like a flight, it's a real adventure. A captivating adventure, and there we can really change uh, paradigm and transport logistics. Uh, uh, if we talk about uh, transport uh, uh, machines, uh, I mean, um, all those uh, laws uh, that are linked uh, to Archimedes law are quite different from those uh, used uh, in. Uh, 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 airplanes, uh, for example, cube versus uh, square. Uh, well, in Cuba, we can see a growth of the mass, uh, and the human beings uh, can hardly create uh, airplanes uh, uh, or uh, helicopters uh, with a good uh, uh, capacity. Uh, as for airships, we don't have uh, uh, any such problems. Here we have a cube, cube, a cube, uh, 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 quadruple. So I've studied that a lot uh, in my uh, in my work. 
book and also reflected that in my monography about airships, uh, uh, where actually a special program complex was developed and uh, feasibility study was uh, well described. Uh, I mean, information about airships of new generation uh, presented uh, based on synthesis uh, and uh, different aeronautical uh, parameters, etc. Uh, so, uh, well, there are a lot of opportunities. Uh, I uh, looked uh, at uh, airships uh, uh, well, with uh, up to 3,000 uh, tons of capacity. Uh, shall we start uh, building uh, such uh, machines now? Maybe not uh, now, but as for 100 uh, tons, uh, I think that uh, this is something that could really interest uh, the Rosat, uh, that could be used uh, for power station. Uh, for example, there is a request uh, from Roscosmos to transport a rocket from uh, Moscow uh, suburban and uh, up uh, to, I don't know, different other locations, Samara, and also it can be used for rescue operation. I think uh, that uh, it can be done not through the Hoska Sea and uh, the ocean, but uh, through uh, the northern uh, northern pole uh, and uh, ocean. Uh, well, uh, I think it could be definitely used uh, for uh, search and uh, rescue words. Uh, uh, for that matter, uh, usually icebreakers are used, but sometimes uh, you can have only six hours uh, to save the team. Uh, well, uh, can I jump in for a second? Uh, I just wanted to say that all the previous uh, projects, uh, when uh, we were searching for the new uh, projects, uh, first uh, we thought that it would be something similar to what we had, uh, but uh, then we realized uh, that uh, uh, that uh, we have uh, not just one uh, engineer, but uh, we had a lot of uh, uh, scientific uh, and uh, uh, research institutes uh, and so on and so forth. And when Alexander Nikolaevich uh, uh, says something about uh, Rosatom, etc., it's not like a fantasy. Uh, I would say that uh, well, today uh, you are going to listen uh, to real academicians, uh, representative of institutes. Uh, you will see a lot of uh, uh, incredible people, I would say that that was a real campaign. So the best of the best will be here to talk about uh, all uh, uh, the projects, uh, just uh, to create this airship. Uh, something that is being said right now is just a small part of all those things we are about uh, to uh, come true, make come true. Uh, can I continue? Sure. Uh, very often I hear the following question, what about Zeppelin? So, I mean, uh, well, it's a well-known thing and, you know, they used to fly and also Mr. Zeppelin did it for a good many years. Uh, probably you've been to Safra and there you can uh, see real size uh, section of Gandenburg, all those walking decks. So you can see this opening windows and you know how it was taken into the year. It was done in silence. Uh, Agents uh, were turned off, uh, uh, so uh, there was uh, this German upholstery, and uh, then you could see those ladies in long dresses, and only uh, then later on they uh, uh, turned on uh, the agents uh, to move forward. And I remember when I talked to one of the pilots, American pilot, quite uh, an age one at one of the conference, I said, so uh, what about Jambenburg? Uh, and uh, he was a part of the team. He said... Uh, uh, well, uh, you know, I was responsible uh, for uh, navigation, for the wheels. We had a whole team, and so we were supposed uh, to uh, stick to our course uh, just uh, to move in a stable way so that uh, everyone uh, could actually uh, uh, enjoy the flight. Uh, those were real people who were responsible for the safety of the flight. I think that we should go back uh, to that uh, uh, and uh, probably Probably uh, we uh, should uh, use all the opportunities that we have right now. Uh, what are the main uh, opportunities that we have right now, and so what should be implemented in practice. Uh, I actually reflected that in the article, it was issued not long ago, it was done by our uh, the Academy of Aviation and Air Navigation, of course. Uh, we need uh, to change uh, the basic elements. Uh, well, I should say that uh, uh, we are actually uh, talking uh, 
about uh, 15 patents uh, and uh, good uh, know-how. Now know-how, I think that uh, we should uh, uh, store and uh, keep secret uh, our commercial uh, secrets. Uh, so 15 patients, revolutionary ones, uh, absolutely new. Uh, they. Uh, 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 linked to the structure, to the framework of the airship, to uh, assembly work, and uh, I would say that uh, it was not done that uh, successfully at Zeppelin, and one of the weak points uh, is uh, the, the near ground uh, maintenance of airships. Uh, well, uh, but at the same time, our airships uh, should withstand uh, even very strong winds, uh, and, uh, well, we should also think about uh, uh, parking and the way it should uh, keep in the, uh, the round ground uh, position uh, in case of a bad weather conditions. Uh, and uh, as for anchoring, it should be done very easily, but just by one person. And uh, uh, as for anchoring, uh, it can be done with a small uh, area, or for example, somewhere on the roof of a high-rise building, for example, five-star hotel in the city center. We can land here. Uh, passengers can leave, then we can uh, leave, then go back, etc. So that's uh, the type of uh, uh, passenger uh, uh, airships we talk about. Uh, we are not talking about intercontinental flights. Uh, probably it could be done for 200, uh, 400 kilometers, even though in uh, one of the works, which is called the Blue Dream, probably thanks uh, to the projects I'll keep working on that. Uh, so I am thinking about even a seven deck, five star flying hotel uh, for making a flight uh, around the planet. Uh, this is a 200 uh, uh, ton airship that can uh, be uh, used uh, for transportation. So it can also uh, transport uh, cargo and uh, as uh, for the assembly uh, framework. Uh, and uh, near ground uh, maintenance uh, speed, uh, something that we should bear in mind. So as for Zeppelin, maximum speed was 130. In our case, uh, we should make it uh, to 170 kilometers. Uh, yes, so 170 kilometers, so maybe up to 200 kilometers uh, uh, per hour. If we talk about 500 ton airship, uh, we can make a speed uh, up uh, to 250 kilometers. Uh, as uh, for the comfort uh, for passengers, for tourists, this is something that will be really incredible, not compared to aviation. I'm not uh, going to talk that much about the energy consumption, so in perspective, we can switch to hydrogen, to solar power or energy. Can I comment on something? Um, just want to make it clear for people about uh, Edinburgh, uh, and uh, you mentioned a lot of other things about anchoring, etc. Uh, so Brandenburg, uh, 100 years ago, uh, there they flew from Europe to, uh, through the ocean, over the ocean uh, to North America. There they had uh, cabins, uh, the restaurants, and it was 100 uh, years ago. Can you imagine today's car and, for example, a car one? Hundreds of years ago, or trains, etc. So, uh, can you see? Uh, I mean, uh, how things evolved in time. Uh, well, uh, it is possible to create something uh, incredible. It, it was also possible 100 years ago. Can you imagine? Can we create today? Uh, just a short comment. Okay, uh, spheres of applications, uh, uh, they um, can be used uh, for various purposes, um, they can be used for different uh, uh, things actually, uh, can be used in different uh, areas. Uh, I uh, prepared a special uh, offer for our government, uh, some of the interesting thing. I mean, I can speak for Russia in Russia, and so actually one project, uh, um, 10 uh, ton airships uh, will probably be meant for that, so maybe 15 uh, ton airships. This is exploration of Russian forest with the help of airship. Our forests cost a lot. And they are more expensive uh, than uh, all the gas fields and uh, oil fields, uh, but uh, we cannot uh, 
just uh, take it or use it. Uh, and uh, they have been explored by only 30 percent. If uh, we uh, talk about another 50 percent, and the forests are explored by airships, and to do that, uh, like uh, three, five thousand airships uh, should be built uh, using different technologies, so that so uh, we can take different trips, uh, trees, uh, where trees can be taken and uh, delivered uh, to some processing platforms. Uh, we need to, to build uh, some uh, uh, eco towns uh, somewhere in the far east uh, uh, for that matter. Uh, also, at the same time, we can focus on pharmaceutical uh, uh, domain. Uh, well, according to some estimation, it's going to be 300, 400 uh, uh, billions uh, per year. Uh, we can make it uh, to the threshold. That's much more than we can get from oil and gas uh, put together. But at the same time, uh, forests uh, are environmentally pure thing and uh, also even more important so unlike oil and gas this is a renewable source of energy and uh, at the same time we cannot even uh, reach out to that so Brazilians also have uh, forests but they have a different structure in our case uh, it is more attractive uh, we have uh, different uh, wood processing plants so um, Another task that we have, we had uh, work on the stratosphere uh, airship. Stratosphere has not been conquered completely right now. Of course, uh, we have uh, uh, launch fighters there that can fly at a quite a big high. Uh, but actually, it uh, could be completely explored using air shift to transmit different information flows. Uh, uh, well, uh, of course, it's not a, a simple airship, approximately 170 meters long, uh, operating at a height of uh, 15 to 20 kilometers with a radius of uh, uh, 400 kilometers. Uh, so I think that approximately 100 airships uh, needed for that uh, to communicate between themselves, uh, I mean, within the visibility reach and television, internet, uh, uh, what else? Uh, uh, mobile communication, environmental monitoring, the frontiers of borders control, etc. They can be used for all that, and at the same time, they can be operated at different heights. And compared to satellites, uh, they also have very good resolutions, uh, maybe 1,000 times uh, better, and also they can change their payload or uh, capacity. I think that this is uh, luxurious, incredibly beautiful task and we could really take it by the way uh, uh, we were also meant uh, to also work on such a stratospheric uh, uh, machine uh, uh, and we discussed uh, that so this is an island uh, uh, country and of course uh, they are very much focused on the protection of their borders and uh, their um, the fishery uh, uh, also um, uh, and uh, there they probably would need uh, approximately uh, 30 airships of uh, this kind in order to cover the whole territory. Can I comment uh, on uh, this uh, stratospheric sphere issue? Yes, um, uh, well, I worked a lot with all those space things, and I remember how uh, we worked uh, with different satellites, uh, and I remember that we had a lot of problems with that. Uh, they collapsed, uh, they fell down, etc. So it takes a lot of effort uh, to put them into the orbit and then make it rotate around, etc. And, well, that was incredible. And many times you had to start everything all over again. And when Alexander Nikolaevich said, the stratosphere has not been completely uh, conquered. Uh, that also gives me a wow effect. Uh, well, here, uh, well, uh, we can use actually uh, satellites uh, designed specifically for that matter. Uh, well, it's less expensive than rockets, so it can go up to the stratosphere and actually accomplish uh, the same tasks. Uh, and. Uh, you can make it so land back, uh, well, then you can uh, refuel it, uh, and that's incredible. Uh, you can uh, really uh, do better than Elon Musk with that kind of approach. 
uh, as uh, for Africa, everything is quite relevant, not only stratosphere, but also we could talk about uh, tourism there, about passenger cargo transportation market will be developing billion of people, population, and, uh, well, no winter there. Uh, well, here in Russia we have winter, there's uh, nothing um, uh, bad about that uh, when it comes to forward exploration, but as uh, for passenger uh, transportation, probably in winter it's not the best solution, but in Africa that would be fine. But uh, transport, uh, cargo transportation, passenger transportation, uh, these are very good uh, things. Uh, I graduated from a uh, department uh, of uh, helicopters at uh, Moscow Aviation Institute. Uh, maybe you know Bermatukhin, he was the uh, dean at uh, that uh, department, and they tried to promote helicopters. Uh, and uh, I remember how he shared his reaction. He said that uh, we will marry much uh, uh, criticized, and people even uh, told us, go F yourself, or they didn't want to deal with us. Uh, but uh, at the end of the day, uh, yes, uh, well, we can see uh, that uh, there are so many uh, tasks uh, dealt with uh, uh, by helicopters. The helicopters can take off and land vertically, and airships can do the same thing. They can do it uh, 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 vertically, but as for the uh, production or construction costs, so they are um, less expensive compared to helicopters, so this is a more economical solution, not to mention secure safety. Yes, I would like to add something. The bigger the airship uh, we have, uh, the more economical it is. Uh, so uh, this is a uh, reverse uh, proportion. Uh, if we talk about uh, 10 uh, ton or 15 uh, ton airship for forest exploration, well, actually, uh, we could uh, uh, talk about different parameters. It could be also uh, well, we understand that you know, gas in the field, uh, uh, they use helicopters a lot. But uh, this is uh, uh, a more ergonomical version, a more economical one, if we talk about 10-15 uh, ton uh, airship. So it's going to be like 10 times more economical. This is the main question. Uh, just to answer it, uh, uh, what do we need it for, etc. If you think about that, there is such a, a good uh, helicopter uh, meme. 28, uh, well, uh, so uh, in total we have 13,000, no, 17,000 of them, uh, even more than that. Okay, 17,000, and all those uh, helicopters, Mi-8, uh, they performed different tasks, uh, and uh, they did it, uh, and they uh, were really efficient, but uh, we can be 10 times more efficient than those uh, helicopters, uh, um, so it's going to be a really good business. The good margin. And so now I would like to proceed to the last block of questions, and I will give the floor to some other colleagues, and so they will be a little bit more specific. Uh, we'll talk about the projects, uh, projects that uh, we would like to offer for uh, our partnership. Uh, we would like to find a common language, and we would like uh, to apply for the development of six types of uh, airships. At the same time, we will be uh, constructing uh, airships uh, uh, initially. Uh, uh, first, we established a scientific uh, uh, production base uh, for Oras. Uh, uh, this is uh, aeronautical or aerial yacht. And so the main people we will be contact con con uh, con uh, communicating will be Moscow Aviation Institute. This is my alma mater. And and uh, we will be uh, communicating with the uh, chief uh, uh, engineer and uh, designer of uh, uh, these uh, relevant departments. Uh, he also worked a lot with airships. Uh, we will stay focused on the issues uh, certification. Uh, also, uh, Mr. Gourmand, a specialist in the sphere of uh, aerodynamics, he will also be involved in our work. Moscow Aviation Institute and a second serious organization will be working with is uh, NAMI. Uh, this is our National Institute uh, of uh, um, uh, car building uh, and vehicle building. Uh, and so uh, they actually uh, developed uh, and designed uh, this uh, uh, automobile called ORS for the president. We will be using their production base, their engines. They are ready to share uh, ORS, which means uh, the go 
world of Russia. Uh, well, give allow us uh, to use uh, this uh, uh, name. Uh, well, that's a bit of a secret, but still. Th but this is a part of our plan. This is Horus. Uh, uh, well, uh, we will be using this name, and of course, uh, we'll be using a special 600 uh, horsepower engine uh, used in uh, limos. Uh, they developed uh, an incredible engine uh, using uh, some very uh, good technologies, Italian origin. Uh, well, they are uh, very good at uh, fuel consumption, etc. Uh, so they uh, actually use uh, uh, quite uh, a big diameter there, and so it makes uh, an integral part of uh, our uh, portfolio, and so we're going to have a special transmission. I think that this Aorus model can be applied in our 10-ton uh, uh, airship uh, with uh, cabins. Uh, I think it could be uh, used uh, there. Uh, well, apart from that, uh, we have some other people who will be cooperating with us, uh, some aviation aeronautics uh, uh, companies, uh, organizations, Gosvisnias, uh, uh, these are some of uh, state organizations. Uh, uh, we could also use some uh, electric uh, engines uh, uh, with vents, uh, with auxiliary agents. So we have provided for quite a large-scale cooperation of uh, aerospace uh, uh, players uh, or enterprises. Uh, we will be uh, working on close cooperation. We will also uh, make uh, this roof of uh, the airship multifunctional. And I should say that, again, it will be used for transportation, both of cargo and transportation that can be used in the city center. Just a short comment about cooperation. Unlike uh, previous uh, projects uh, where we uh, had an idea, some uh, work, some base, so, but we uh, had to uh, create uh, a infrastructure on our own uh, and also give a start to our ideas, launch them, put into operation. Right now, we have uh, uh, different uh, players, key players of the industry responsible for different uh, parts of work. And uh, after the presentation of the idea, we are going to proceed straight away to real work, uh, to develop and design work. So you don't have to wait another five years for the construction of a factory. And uh, yes, uh, works uh, uh, can be started right away. So 10 ton airship, uh, something that uh, uh, we very much uh, rely on. This is a multifunctional project uh, or airship and also cargo passenger airship. Up to 70 passengers can be be transported and shipped, uh, but it's not like in a helicopter, I mean, in case you've tried that, but it's going to be done in a comfortable way. Uh, also, first class, business class, we're not going to have economy class at the same time, we're going to have observation decks and all those uh, pieces of infrastructure and the second uh, as, uh, option uh, uh, stuff that will be used uh, for cargo transportation only I mean 10 uh, 15 uh, ton uh, airship uh, there will be several thousands of such airship manufacturers and they will be popular for sure uh, well uh, we have uh, uh, actually studied uh, carefully all those ideas uh, then we're also going to have um, uh, 20, 40 uh, ton uh, airships uh, uh, with uh, several decks, uh, with cabins, with observation deck, with uh, recreational walking deck. Uh, 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 this is a, a double deck uh, uh, airship uh, with a movie theater. So it means uh, on board uh, you can go there. Uh, also, there will be a dance floor, a piano hall, etc. As for the cargo airship, uh, here we talk about. 30, 40 uh, ton um, uh, airship, uh, mm, well, up to 40 ton. That's a serious uh, offer. Yes, helicopters, uh, they are in great um, demand. Uh, so the most widespread helicopter, Mi-8, uh, uh, well, uh, 70,000 of them have been manufactured. Uh, up to 300 of them can be manufactured per year. But we plan that our 10 ton airship, uh, 
will uh, be uh, 2.56 uh, times uh, uh, more capable, but at the same time, it will be more ergonomical depending on the task. Can you imagine the difference? And so, uh, well, actually, they uh, can be uh, manufactured in uh, big numbers. Uh, so we mentioned uh, different options, uh, 10, 20, 40 uh, ton airships. And also, then we should talk about stratospheric uh, airships. I think that, uh, well, uh, it's, uh, sh well, it's like uh, 15, 20 kilometers uh, uh, above uh, the ground. So that's the heights where they will be used. Uh, no, it makes no sense uh, to uh, go uh, higher than that. Uh, so these are the main groups of airships we're thinking about. Uh, and we also plan uh, to uh, build uh, four big islands uh, on top of this. Uh, and uh, probably after that, we'll be talking about serial production of 100 uh, 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 airships uh, uh, at least uh, uh, per year. As uh, for more details, numbers, etc., we'll go back to it later on. Let's uh, uh, continue to meet a representative of the team. I would like to give the floor to Vadim Zubkevich. He uh, will be deputy head of the main constructor. Uh, uh, my deputy is well uh, for the most commercial airship, uh, 10, uh, 15 ton airship. Uh, uh, so. Uh, so, uh, in case uh, if you are familiar with Avgur story, you know what uh, it will be all about. Uh, he worked with a lot of uh, uh, different airships. Uh, 